Hey guys, it's Brittany and Katie with the Q Team in Rochester, New York. Today we're talking about, again, we've talked about this before, but why it's extremely important to price your house appropriately, correctly, strategically, um, and not overprice yourself in this market specifically. Mm -hmm. So we've obviously been talking about for a year, maybe more, about you know this, the seller's market that we're in and how things are selling, multiple offers, crazy. We're starting to see a slight market shift I mean, things are not necessarily flying off the shelves like they were. Mm -hmm. We're not necessarily seeing these crazy bidding wars on everything, certainly on some right. houses, depending on condition and price. Right. Um, but things that are needing a little bit more work or that are people are pricing too high to start, mm -hmm. we are seeing make it through delayed negotiations with no offers, which was a crazy concept for all of right. us to even experience. But So we're starting to see houses that have delayed negotiations not get any offers mm -hmm. um and then they play the game where then they have to take a price adjustment and then they're chasing the market and it's because they're trying to price based on what houses were and are getting mm -hmm. um, but buyers are still the mentality that they have to pay x number of dollars x percent over mm -hmm. the list price and when when the list prices are where the sales price is have been. expected to be yeah, yeah buyers are just like a oh, holy cow not even I, I can't looking. pay over right so think about it as let's say a house was listed for 175 and in the market they got you know 200 mm -hmm. for easy numbers sake you know in the let's say the value range was like 150 to 200 so they priced it you know average pricing and they got a lot of activity mm -hmm. got a lot of offers and got close to 200 mark so the people that are coming in saying, well, my neighbor got 200, I want to price it at 200 because that's what I want. Mm -hmm. The buyer Which is coming, fair thinking. Of course. Fair thinking. We're educating our sellers to understand that because buyers are that have been in this market and were probably the buyers that competed for yeah. the house that was listed at 175, we're saying, well, I got to go 25, 30, 40 grand over asking. Mm -hmm. If it's already at 200, I don't want to pay 250 or because 225. Because the house next door only sold for 200. Mm -hmm. So they're like, why would I go in way higher than that. Right. So it's deterring them. Sometimes we're even looking at the house and oftentimes we're making an offer because they're like, well, I can't even be competitive or I don't mm -hmm. want to pay that much for this house. So I'm just not going to make an offer, which psychologically we have to be smart about our pricing strategies right. for our sellers to make sure that we are not pricing ourselves out of the market. We can still get that competitive multiple offer situation, which is going to drive the price up to where it we should be it. and where yeah. the market's going to dictate it. So we just have to Play the market appropriately. Uh, right. And if we don't, and if we want to push that price, just know that we might make it past delayed negotiations. And in the end, we might actually end up getting less for the house mm -hmm. um, because we're going to have to potentially negotiate with a buyer or if, reduce the price. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we get a new round of buyers. Um, right. But then sometimes people are thinking, you know, if it made it past del delayed negotiations, why? Right. Is something wrong with that? I just had this conversation this morning with a buyer, the house that didn't sell. It's been on the market for about two weeks. Um, I mean, nothing what? known wrong Which with it. Which now feels crazy. Right. But, but they're, they're like, you know, what's, what's wrong What's wrong with that? And I'm like, well, nothing. We j It was just priced too high mm -hmm. and it kind of scared away buyers. And now we're kind of in a situation where we might not need to be in competition, which would be awesome from I a know. buyer's standpoint. But from a seller's standpoint, we want to be smart. And we just want to be on top of the market daily of what's happening and how we can best approach it to make sure we take advantage. Yeah. So that's it. Well, here to help you figure out what that pricing strategy is. So if you're thinking or know someone that's thinking about selling, have us, have them call us, mm -hmm. do a market analysis, and we'll talk through that strategy game plan. And it's a, it, one last tip. It's very important to um, pay attention to everything that's being, not for you too, for us, but to relate <laughs> to you, um, everything that's being listed daily and what it's doing. Mm -hmm. So we know what's being listed if it's being listed where it is, if it's selling, and if it's being listed too high, if it's not selling, mm -hmm. we generally have a good idea yep. why. Um, exactly. And can help you understand that as well. Totally. So we will see you all next week.